since young, I always telling people I want to be a pilot, I want to be an engineer. It's just, it's in my blood. So my fascination is to math, science, engineering, aviation, especially grow over years. So I joined GE back eight, nine years now when I started as engineer. So I developed that technical knowledge. After uh, many years of engineering, I transitioned to customer facing role and I'm very happy and proud that I achieved what I dreamed. So the moment I wake up, the first thing I think about what, what's the challenge for today? How can we make that difference? Or how can we support our customer? How can, we, how can I make their day a good day for today? For me, what gets me out of bed is that engagement with the customer. It's all about working together to tackle a, a problem, to find always a better way. It's about the continuous improvement mindset, finding opportunities 360, working together side by side to make the process better, more successful. I think that that passion, that energy that gets me going, and it's always dynamic. There's always a different issue. I've been in 22 years, so. I would say that's the motivation that keeps me going. First, I was going to study uh, electrical engineering, but then when I started, I didn't feel that I had the passion for it. But when my friends told me, like, why not apply into aviation? And, uh, and I felt uh, like I will be unique if I studied that. And that's what like, motivated me and wanted me to get into aviation, is to become different than like, the rest of the studies that everybody was taking. Analytics intrigued me uh, because it's not uh, like a day-to-day -day, uh, work. It's basically sometimes some days are like a surprise for you with uh, how how everything is behaving with the engine, and uh, with that it creates like challenges for us. And I always like that to have uh, these ups and downs in the work. It's not like really stable. Uh, some days you have a problem. Some days it's like really okay, and everything is running really well. As a customer support manager, I'm responsible for customer satisfaction. We are working with multiple carriers, almost 10 low-cost customers, which are powered by CFM engines, mainly live in very unique environment, which is hot and harsh environment, different from other any environment, from temperature point of view, from dust point of view. So what we are doing, which is we present different projects, different technologies to help them improving uh, fleet performance, fleet stability. They are different customers. They have like different uh, managing style, different way of working, different yeah. environment, different cultures. So the way how we approach customer is different from one to another one, but the goal is the same, approaching the same goal, which is really inspiring and enjoyable because uh, a lot of learning uh, from customer to another one. Analytics-based maintenance is the tool that was developed by our team. So basically, it's just for us to become proactive with the uh, with how when engines should go into the shop, like giving us the visualizations for our customers to understand how they are using their engines. So this tool really helps with giving the feedback to the customer. Each team member specializes in a different engine type, and uh, with that engine type that, uh, for example, that I have, I would like be really good with it uh, and to understand it, uh, how it works uh, and with the data that we have, I would look at that specific engine that I'll be working on, that I'll be dedicated to and then with that engine we will focus on the part of it, like the detailed part of it and with that part then we will give that the recommendation for the customer. I believe like now the customers they would like trust what uh, what we say and they would like act upon it. What, what we say is like valuable for them and, and I really feel like this is like a, a good uh, connection that we have with them. Kai is change, Zen is for the better. So Kai Zen is change for the better, getting away from your comfort zone. So we are at the Emirates uh, Engine Maintenance Facility in Dubai. So this is one of the places in the network where we are overholding the white body engines and the commitment that they have with lean and continuous improvement has been great. We have done several kaising events over the past few years. So when Emirates comes and asks, for example, ways to improve a turnaround time, to expedite a, a particular process, 
whether it's in the shop or in the airline, finding ways to make that process more productive, elimination of waste, uh, implement standard work. That's basically what I do on a regular basis. So it's, it's about the methodology, regardless of the problem, the nature of the problem. If we apply the same methodology structure, uh, we have a playbook, a Kaizen playbook. I think the outcomes is what we're trying to drive. It's a better future state compared to where we are today and closing the gap. So it's, it's a continuous process of trying something. If it works, we capture, we make it a standard, and then it's always that extra mile. So we always talk to people, don't feel like you have to change 80%. Maybe let's try a 10%, 50%. Small incremental changes on daily basis is what gets you to the next level. At the end of the day, all the customers are looking for the same. They're looking for a great customer experience to partner with the GE Aerospace and to grow as a partner together. It's a collective uh, job. It's a collaboration with our internal uh, stakeholders, also with our partnership, uh, joint venture, Saffron, together working with the customers to make this um, object and goal achieved, to make sure that uh, engines on wing safely playing in the air, not the grounded, having that win-win situation between the airlines and GE, and especially uh, make sure that consciously we protect the image and the brand of that customers. So for me, achieving those goals or approaching those goals makes me really proud and happy. The aviation is really important in our life. And uh, with the increase of the engines in the future, uh, I think we always need to be ready for that. So the analytics-based maintenance tool was first used locally and with the success that, uh, that, that we had with it, now it's being used like globally with the other uh, region. I, I always like, feel uh, proud with uh, what we're doing. When a customer like, gives you the trust with what you say, we don't want to lose that trust for, uh, from them. The aviation has been a big part of the growth of the region. Carriers are really putting a lot of focus on the wide body fleet, and GE Aerospace is also committed to support that uh, wide body fleet. For me, it makes me really proud knowing that we are enabling those connections, allowing those passengers to go and fly safely, whether it's a business trip, a holiday, going visit families, and we are part of that process. So it's something really rewarding, knowing that we're allowing those connections. For me, when I flew and I see the engine, and I'm taking that uh, plane going home, I'm proud of that because I'm supporting that engine and know, I know all the, the, all the hardware, all the components in that engine, how, how it works. That feels like it's, uh, it's something that's mine, belong to me, so makes me really very proud.